So, so recently we sent our intrepid reporter Jason Jones out to the field to explore the phenomena of a certain Washington, D.C. Uh, football team's controversial name. Uh, we learned later that some of the individuals who participated in the piece, uh, they didn't enjoy the experience. <laughs> it's something that happens uh, a lot less than you would think. <laughs> but we take the complaint seriously. We genuinely don't want people who participate in the show uh, to have a bad experience. We work very hard to find real people who have real beliefs and want to express those beliefs on television. And we work hard to make sure that uh, the gist of those beliefs are represented accurately, albeit sometimes comedically, on our program. <laughs> if we find out that someone in a piece was intentionally misled, or if their comments were intentionally misrepresented, we do not air that piece. We would not air that piece. So that being said, I hope you enjoy the following piece. <laughs> Football is back. And once again, the Washington Redskins are getting their ass kicked. But this time, instead of cowboys and patriots, it's by liberal activists. A move is underway to change the name. Critics say it's offensive to Native Americans. But according to Chief Daniel Snyder of Redskin Nation, the only crime his people have committed is being misunderstood. The name of our team is the name of our team, and it represents uh, honor, it represents pride, it represents respect. Well, that doesn't sound that bad. So why was this group of Native American activists so upset? It's a name that um, impairs, disables, disenfranchises uh, our, our population. The most popular mascots in the country are Indians and animals. Right, because we all love animals and we all love Indians. We're not We're mascots. Not mascots. 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 It's a dictionary defined racial slur. Yeah, but that's according to what? The dictionary. Okay, but plenty of words in the dictionary have multiple meanings. It just turns out this one doesn't. Help me out, white man. Taken out of context, you can take things out of context all over the place. But in this particular case, it is what it is. It's very obvious that the name really means honor. <laughs> Honoring what? Your strong, proud, courageous, brave heritage. Redskin is a bounty. It meant proof of Indian kill. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds terrible. Put it in context on Sundays. And Saturdays. And Friday nights. And Monday. And, and living in D.C. every day. And Thursday nights. Do you know what it's like to be a native I in don't. this town? I don't. Terrible. To walk down the street every single day and be surrounded by that imagery and being told to get over it? No, because... 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 You don't have to do that. Just because I'm uncomfortable doesn't mean you have to make fun of my uncomfortableness. You don't see me doing that to people. Sure, these Native American activists make a compelling case. That is until you hear what's at stake for the true victims, the fans. If the Redskins' name is changed and I have children one day, what will I pass on to them? It'd, it'd be tough. It'd be like losing a, a family member. And they've already lost so much. 58 starting quarterbacks, 28 head coaches, 12 uniforms with 10 logos, playing in five stadiums in two cities, and they even changed their name once before. So forgive them for clinging to what few traditions remain. The war band, sing it. Press for ODC. Now I have an older computer. I've pulled it up on Netscape. But it seems like you didn't say the word uh, scalp them. You didn't say it. also guys. says womp them, too. Oh, so, so the song changed. Obviously, that was changed for sensitivity reasons. And the team's sensitivity has paid off. I mean, right here on the home page of the website Daniel Snyder paid for, it says that in 2004, a poll found that 90% of Native Americans did not find the name offensive. Oh, the Annenberg Report. Well, the funny thing about the Annenberg Report is that uh, it was conducted in Pennsylvania by self-identifying indigenous people, which means it could have been anybody off the street that says, oh, yeah, my great-great-great-grandmother was a Cherokee princess. Come on, who would do that? My great-great-grandfather's full-blood Cherokee. <laughs> Show of hands, who has Cherokee or any Native American? Brian, what do, you, what do you got in you? Cherokee, but I have no idea how much or little. Right. I'm actually 112. 112th Cherokee. As 112 Cher Cherokee, I am not offended. Which meant that there was only one question for the other 11 twelfths. Aren't you being a little sensitive? After every single thing that American Indian people have been through, how can you possibly say that we are thin-skinned and oversensitive? We have to say things like cultural sensitivity 
Because as soon as we say racism or racist, no one said the whole racist. Argument exactly. Shuts no down. one said racism. The term is racist. No, stop. Okay, I'm shutting this conversation down. Okay, so Redsky. Uh, all right. The Washington team name was starting to feel a little insensitive. What was I missing? What I would say is come to a football game, meet some fans, come see what our context is about. And I think, you know, you, you, there's just no way you would leave that offended. So I went to a game, and you know what? It was true. I was immediately welcomed into this rich culture, and I'm not sure what it was, but the more time I spent with these people, the more I began to feel warm and happy and numb, and they were right. That logo is cool. But then I met with tribal elders. This is our culture. This, this is who we are. Would you call a Native American a redskin? Do you know any Native Americans? Yeah, about eight of them. Am I not a Native American? Was I not born in this country? I want to take my, I don't want to um, authorize that. That's right. This was a culture so proud, they didn't even want their faces on TV, even after they had signed our release forms. I went to a game. Let me ask you, if you brought a Native American, wouldn't they be a little upset? I think sometimes the conversation that's happening right now is that we need to be sitting down talking to the people that actually are offended. And a little later, we did just that. But it turns out these fans weren't comfortable having that conversation. In fact, afterward, they relayed to the Washington Post that they felt ambushed, in danger, and defamed. And yes, the conversation was heated at times, but there was also handshakes and even the ceremonial handkerchief. In the end, they said they still would have gone on the show had they known there would be a debate, but at least one of them wouldn't have worn his Redskins jacket, which forces the question, if they changed the team name, would you still root for them? Absolutely. Unequivocally. I wouldn't hide my Redskins memorabilia. It'd still be on the walls, and uh, the belt would still be on the shoulder, and they'll always be Redskins to me. There we go. Problem solved. Hey, he who stands on the wrong side of history, change the name. Jason Jones, we'll be right back.